Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the Pisces Weekly Read. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in that divine timing. Okay, Pisces, we're going to use the Inner Child Tarot deck for the first part of the reading. And then when we flip over onto the Extended, I'm going to use Crystal Tarot and some other Oracle cards. So let's have a look and see what you need to know today. Do, do, do. I feel like, Pisces, you feel very much like you're going one step forward, two steps back and... You're not necessarily making decisions from your heart, but there's an element of you making them from your head. And that card wants out. And that is clouding you and delaying you moving forwards. It feels very, I know it feels like you're walking in tar some days, but it feels very slow going. It feels like that energy of walking in treacle and struggling to get things moving. Sorry, there's a card on the floor. Fell out the deck. And making your decision from your heart is going to move things forward so, so much quickly. Um, and once you make that decision wholeheartedly and you're aligned with it in your head and your heart it's going to be like you've dissolved the treacle around your feet and it's almost like you're going to be running forwards that's what it feels very much like it feels very much like the universe and luck a specific loved one in spirit, I would say, is guiding you and sort of pushing you in the right direction. And your heart knows it, but your head's trying to catch up with your decision. Don't be scared. I know that's easier said than done, but um, it really feels important to let go of the fear okay right let's have a look at the cards i've just picked six out in front of me the seeker of swords as we said at the beginning that it is decision time it's decision time and time to really make a determined wholehearted decision not just thinking about it it's time to do it okay yes things feel like they're working in treacle or climbing a mountain there's definitely that energy of that uphill battle which I feel like you've been in that uphill energy battle for a long time it feels very much like it's been, you're tired of it now. You're getting tired. But there's, there's an element of you feeling like you've had to do what you've been doing and there's an amount of responsibility and needing to do what you've been doing almost as a matter of this loved one in spirit that we mentioned before which has actually come through in the cards as well the mother goose card although I do feel there's a male energy for many of you coming through um it's almost like they are giving you their their it's not permission giving you their permission giving you their blessing you don't need to keep proving yourself for them it's now time to live your life for you. 
it's time to make those decisions from your heart and not your head because your head is telling you oh you should do this or you're meant to do that there's definitely an energy of listening to your heart because it's your head that's getting in the way and as soon as you make the decision for yourself yes there may be other people involved but you know in your heart what you're meant to be doing and where you're meant to be it's the past and this cloudiness of the past which is offsetting your decision but once you make a firm decision once you are very sure of your decision and very much that is what I'm doing my head and my heart are aligned yes it's maybe not going to be the easiest process to get from your decision to where you're meant to be but once you've made that decision the universe will help you the universe will bring in help and ease the flow this decision is very supported not only from your loved one in spirit but also the universe and the angels okay it's time to make a firm decision we have the guardian of crystals as well and that really makes me feel like there's a possible distance between you and the person you are making a decision about i want to say physical distance because no matter how far apart you are i feel that you're still close within your hearts i want to say don't make your decision based on the fact that you are far apart because that isn't a challenge really it doesn't need to be a factor in your decision okay because you're both under the same sky your hearts are very close you don't have to factor that in because that will all sort itself out okay because these two hearts are meant to be together this is the unconditional balance love you've been waiting for almost that thing you think you've been looking for which has been missing and it really is the highest type of love the final love which you will come for in your life the person you're meant to be with the last because you are lifelong partners and everybody running up to this has been lessons and learning and they're meant to have been a part of your life but not forever you meet people for a reason a lesson a season is that the saying or something like that and that feels like these past people this person is meant to be in your life for the long haul oh it's exciting Pisces get listening to your heart and make your decisions from your heart because that love is waiting for you I'm going to pop over to the extended reading now if this is where I leave you, thank you so very much for joining me. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste.